So let's dive in. So what's high fasting insulin? So out of the gates, insulin is a storage hormone, helps pull glucose into your cells to either burn it up in the muscle or store it as glycogen or convert it to fat and store it as fat either in the liver or in fat tissue. When you have high levels of insulin, when your cell becomes numb to it, we call this insulin resistance. This is when insulin becomes a problem because now we're making more insulin. So insulin is used by bodybuilders too to help get protein into muscle. So it can be used to be anabolic and build up muscles, which is good. But too much of it, especially when glucose is driving it, usually when bodybuilders are doing it, they're injecting it. When you're driving it via eating too much carbohydrate, especially processed carbs, grains, flours, et cetera, you are adding more carbohydrate. That carbohydrate gets broken down to glucose. Where does it go? So it's either going to get stored in the muscles as glycogen and gets burnt up. So stored in the muscle is glycogen, about 80%, 20% in the liver. And then outside of that, some may be in the bloodstream and get burnt up before they even get stored there. Maybe it gets burnt up right away and it's getting funneled in to be burnt up right away because you're walking or you're exercising, right? But outside of that, it's going to get converted to fat. And then over time, your body's going to get systemically numb to it, and it's going to require more and more and more insulin from the beta cells of the pancreas to get that glucose and either store it or burn it, ideally. And so the more insulin you make, that causes problems. Because if you go on Google and you type in insulin and any metabolic condition, there's connections. Just like insulin causes your muscles to grow when utilizing protein, it can also cause things like cancer to grow. It's the reason why PET scans, right, positron emission tomography, which is a scan to look at cancer metastasis, they give you radioactive glucose isotopes, and they want to see where that glucose goes because they know cancer loves glucose primarily as a fuel source. And if we're eating lots of carbohydrate, that gets converted and broken down to glucose, some fructose, but glucose, and then that body has to then produce insulin to get it out of the bloodstream because high blood sugar levels are very damaging. If you go, you know, over couple hundred, you're going to start having organ damage, damage to your eyes, to your vasculature system. And so your cells are having to make a lot of insulin because your cells are getting more and more numb to it. I see patients every day with insulin over 20 fasting, and you should be below 10, ideally below seven or two to five is ideal because we want to make the least amount of insulin so our bodies can redirect that glucose where it needs to go. The less, the less, um, the, the lower amount of insulin, right? The less insulin we make, the better, because we can go on Google right now. We can go punch in insulin and any condition. Let's just look at insulin and PCOS. There's a big connection with PCOS and insulin, insulin and cancer connection. Some of these things up for you guys, PCOS and insulin. These are all big deals, PCOS and insulin. 